Hi there, it's Professor McDonald. In this video, we're going to work out this problem where we will learn how to do summations. It says to use this small data set to calculate the summations below. This can be copied, and if not, if there's any problem with copying it, you can simply type it in by hand because it's a pretty small data set. But all I did was highlight, do Control C for copy and Control V for paste. Or, of course, you can right-click to copy, and then over here, right-click to paste. Once you have your data copied into Excel, you are going to do each one of these summations separately. The first one just wants the summation of x. So all we need to do is add up all of these values. Now, certainly you could do this by hand or on a calculator very easily, but it's very quick to do it here. We're just going to use the sum function or the sum formula in Excel. All I've done is started with an equal sign as you do with all calculations inside a cell in Excel. And then after you've typed in a couple of letters of sum or even all of them, you can see the different recommendations here. We just want the plain sum that looks like this. Now we're going to select what we want to add up and press enter. I'm going to go ahead and bold that so we can tell it's the total. All right, so this is the sum of all my x values here. So that's the answer for this part. All right, the next part says to do the summation of x minus 3 quantity squared. So what that means is that each x value has to have 3 subtracted from it, and then that new total will be raised to the power of 2, and once we've done that for all of the x values, we will total that. So we're doing x minus 3 quantity to the power of 2. So I'm going to start with an equal sign, then click on my first x value and subtract 3. You can, of course, do this by hand. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And do that for all of them. Or if you're doing it in Excel, just copy it down using the formula copy handle. All right, now that we have all our values calculated, we're going to go ahead and sum them. Now, I've already done a sum in this column, and I can copy that to the right here, or I can just type it again, equal sign, sum, parenthesis, select my values, and press Enter. So that is the answer there. Oh, <laughs> well... There must be some kind of error here. Well, yes, silly me, I forgot to raise this to the power of 2. So not only are we subtracting 3, but we're also going to raise that quantity to the power of 2. So up here in my formula editor bar, I'm just going to put parentheses around that and raise it to the power of 2 with my caret key. Press Enter, and then copy that down again. So now I get my answer 83. And the next one says the summation of the quantity x squared minus 3. So now notice that inside the parentheses is everything we have to do before adding according to the summation symbol, the capital Greek letter sigma, which means to add. So we are going to add all of the items inside the parentheses after we do those calculations up here. So we're going to do x to the power of 2 and subtract 3 on all of these x values before we add them. So again, I need an equal sign. I'm going to select my first x value. I'm going to raise x to the power of 2 and then subtract 3 from that. And I'll go ahead and copy that down. And then copy my sum over. All right, so now we have everything done for that. I'm just playing with the formatting because I like to make it a little more visually easy to see. Uh, but the answer here is 233. And that's the end of that problem. I hope you learned something about Excel.